done Park Talk in a while, but we have. Uh, Steve Gelbin, good morning. What's up, buddy? Coffee to you. I uh, hope that you're going to be joining us for some upcoming shows. Uh, despite what's going on in the world, we're just going to have fun. We're just going to keep the ball rolling, aren't we? Yes, I think we are. Uh, Steve, you're also building some stuff at your house, which is kind of uh, fun to watch. Tim McDougal, good to see you, man. Uh, you uh, uh, out on a boat the other day. I saw that video. That was pretty cool. Nice to be on the water. I hope you jumped off and swam with the fishes, metaphorically speaking, of course, not uh, the real stuff. Uh, so uh, good stuff uh, going on today. I was going to show you. Some, I can't show you. Some, I was going to show you some diecast today. Uh, people have been sending me stuff, which is pretty cool. I got a box, a um, a box of Hot Wheels that were unopened factory box. Uh, got some good things in there, and I have another thing showing up today. Uh, don't have it. I can't show it to you because it's not here yet. Uh, Mike Schaefer's, what's up? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, today's our talk uh, subject matter, which is going to be good. I think Six, uh, um, the secret to creative success in anything, anything. Creative success in making donuts uh, or uh, uh, making anything. You know, building anything, uh, creating anything, doing anything. Success in uh, walking around the block. Whatever, I don't care what it is, success in anything comes down to the same formula uh, for everything. Uh, Lawrence Flinton, what's up? Good to see you, man. Uh, okay, let me see. Make sure I didn't. Uh, I just, I just waved to you, Lawrence. I didn't even try, and I just did. Uh, Ivan, that's who I missed. Okay, I thought I saw somebody else there. Cool. Uh, okay, so success in uh, creative success, creative success, and I call it creative because uh, it, it's. You know, any any venture that we get into is a creative process, whether it's making a dish, making food, uh, whether it's uh, building a business, whether it's uh, changing some things in your house. Kathy's redoing the, the, the couch right now. Well, actually, not at the moment. Uh, our granddaughter, Abigail, is out there and turning our living room into a... a hellhole, just a, you know, an absolute uh, atom bomb gone off. Uh, not anything that hurts anybody unless you step on something, which, of course, I've done several times. But uh, they're out there now. Uh, but Kathy is oh, we're doing our living room uh, and with kind of a, you know, it's always been kind of an island theme, but we're taking it to the next level, as as you guys probably are. Um, a few updates here on our talk before we get into today's subject. Um, some big news, a lot of stuff going on. Number one is the Murphy Auto Museum is going to be reopening August 1st. And to celebrate that, on August 2nd, we are doing Muscles and Mojo. Uh, we're having our, our car show, uh, the morning coffee and cars at the Murphy on August 2nd. And that's the second show. The first show is uh, Wheels and Waves is happening July 19th, Sunday. So I hope you guys will come out and join us for both those shows because they're both going to be uh, uh, crazy. I mean, a lot of the shows that are currently happening right now, like Donut Derelicts and... A lot of stuff down in Huntington, as you guys know, that are down there. It's, uh, it's you know, people are getting out. They just, they just want to get out. I know, you know, there's, there's virus things and stuff, but you know, I, I just rather um, die living than live dying. You know, if you know what I'm talking about, uh, I'd rather not sit in my home and um, uh, uh, be afraid. Uh, versus get out there and wear, you can wear a mask. You can do the things that you want to do. Don't spit all over people and, you know, just be safe. Uh, but uh, you got to live. You got to get out there and live uh, despite some of the challenges that are going on. Uh, there's terrorists and all kinds of nasty just going on. So if you're scared of anything, you're never going to leave your house. So it's important to get out there as best you can and um, and live your life and, and, and see the outside and breathe uh, fresh air when you can. Go to the beach, just not with a heavy population. And just... Uh, uh, enjoy yourself. Well, we're going to do that today. So uh, uh, the Camaro book is out. Also, the Camaro coloring book is out, and it's uh, slowly, possibly surpassing the Mustang coloring book. It's doing really well. Uh, good morning, Valerie, first lady in the house, I believe. Mike Levy, C. Dub Washington. I don't know if that's a girl or a guy. I just know that it's a cool name. What's up, C. Dub? Thanks for joining us today on Art Talk. We're going to be talking about our subject, <coughs> how to su <coughs> how to not, not cough while you're try <laughs> trying to give a live presentation. <coughs> Don't know. Must be my Tim's coffee. Mm -hmm. Thanks to my friends in Canada who sent me that. 
uh, Brad and uh, Rhea Albrecht. Very nice. Thank you so much again for that. Uh, good morning, uh, Valerie. Thanks for joining us. So we're talking about uh, the uh, Camaro and the, the Mustang book are head-to-head. -head. Uh, both are doing very well. But our Tony Dow coloring book is coming along. This is the Tony Dow book. These are the official sketches for that. I have five done. And I thought, you know, I'm not going to show you guys this. Well, I am. I'm going to show you guys because uh, we showed a little bit online kind of what it what it looks like and how it's coming. And the uh, the Leave it to Beaver crowd is kind of going gaga nuts over it. Uh, so I wanted to reveal at least the uh, the cover of the book is got a Corvair on it. That's the cover of the book. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to show you. <laughs> Just quick ones. Uh, Tony was a big swimmer and a big uh, diver as a kid. So this is kind of his history with that. And what else we got? Uh, an episode of Leave it to Beaver where he was working on a 40 Ford. Remember that? Uh-huh. If you're a Leave it to Beaver fan. Uh, here he is on set uh, in his chair with his name on it. And uh, one that was done today, uh, he was also a downhill racer, so he uh, he really got into uh, uh, karting and that kind of stuff. So that's coming. August 1st, that's our next book that's going to be coming. Although, if you come to Wheels and Waves on July 19th and you're the first of 65 cars, the first 65 cars that are coming, uh, everybody will get a free Malibu coloring book. Big thanks to Paul Grisanti, who uh, just announced, if you watch the vlog, he just announced on the vlog, no less, that he's running for city council, and if he wins, he becomes uh, mayor of Malibu, which I'm very excited about, because Paul's got a very good head on his shoulders, and is going to do some good things for the for the, for the the city. I'm very excited about that. Uh, also, September uh, is going to bring the Station Wagons coloring book. I know a lot of you, uh, actually, I have to thank a lot of you uh, um, in the direction that we were going, so uh, it seems like... Uh, pretty much anybody that was a kid around the, the late 60s and mid-70s uh, grew up with station wagons. So we're going to badassery some wagons. Uh, you know that it's not going to be like a regular 73 Country Squire or something like that. But it's going to be crazy. Hold on a second. my uh, The alarm on my uh, internet thing just went off. Hold on a second. What are you going to do? It's live. Uh, Stenar Lund, thanks for joining us. So uh, anyway, check out today's vlog. Uh, had a really great time checking out the, the Cybertruck at the Peterson Museum. It's killer. Uh, if, you, uh, if you have issues with the Cybertruck, like it looks stupid. You know, I mean, I, I, I got a comment that said, it looks stupid. I don't know what that means. It looks, it looks dumb. Yeah, no, it's not. Um, I, I think that if you take into consideration uh, Elon's track record, everybody told him that that um, Tesla wasn't going to work. SpaceX wasn't going to be a failure. Solar City didn't make any sense. Uh, look what the guy's doing. You know, uh, he's got a he's got a grandmaster plan, and the Cybertruck is part of it. So just chill. You know, uh, just watch watch the love. Uh, Valerie, you're so looking. F we're so looking forward to Wheels and Waves. I love your new sketch as well. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Valerie. Um, uh, very excited. It's always fun to do things like that. That uh, uh, has a high usage value. That's, you know, that's what the uh, coloring books are about for us. And you guys have to create that for yourselves. Uh, create a product, create a service, create something. Uh, and we can help here on Art Talk where we give tips, tools, and tricks to become successful in that arena so that you give some people something of value. You're not just necessarily making cups, although you can do that. Uh, I'm using one right now. Tim's in uh, Canada. It's a coffee place in Canada, created these mugs. And lo and behold, one's in Malibu right now. Technically, there's two. You can't tell the difference. They're like twins. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, uh, and to reiterate, Wheels and Waves, July 19th. Muscles and Mojo at the Murphy Museum, which is reopening August 1st. Muscles and Mojo is August 2nd. That's Sunday. Join us for both those shows. Let's get into today's Art Talk, shall we? I think so. Did you hear the cheering? I didn't hear anything. Uh, secret to creative success in anything. Now, you know, you can go on on, on uh, YouTube and you can type in success. And what you're going to get is uh, a plethora. And, and not, it's not even calculable. 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 You know, whatever that word is. It's not even possible to calculate, even better, better use of words, uh, how many videos there are on success. It's just ridiculous. And you can spend your whole life watching those videos and never become successful because 
uh, the the thing is about about awareness is that when when you grow from a two dimensional person which is unaware of something whatever that may be into a three dimensional person which is full awareness. Uh, that awareness may be in and out, and that's generally how it works, is that we don't become aware like enlightened, bing, you see the halo around my head? No, because uh, it doesn't work that way. The way it works is that you get a little bit of awareness and, and it grows and grows and grows. Enlightenment is not something to be attained. It's something to be maintained. It's something that, that you, um, you use from time to time within your life. Loretta Smith, good morning, hello. Uh, and, um, and hopefully uh, your life gets better because of the way you're looking at things and that that product comes down to our our choices uh, which we've talked about many times here on art talk so you know the thing about success when you watch all these videos and people get tired of watching the videos i get tired of watching these things you know how many how many tony robbins videos can you watch where he's like oh passionate and jumping up and down it's like you know what you just got to get busy you got to stop watching some of the videos and just get busy with your life and apply a lot of the things that that people talk about in this stuff. Now, for myself, I can't, I can't, you know, my, my job is not to, uh, not to be a Tony Robbins and, and to, to uh, jump up and down and do backflips and, and live with passion and all that stuff uh, to convey. Uh, you guys are smart enough to know that. And many of you are already successful. You know, you've been successful uh, in many areas. My, my concern for you guys is to bring success to areas of your life that where things are not necessarily working um, you know, so many of you may be successful uh, financially. You may be successful in your business or, or uh, you know, whatever it is that you do for a living. Uh, but maybe your relationship with your mother-in-law. Um, I do have a car with a big trunk if you need that. Just as a side note. I'm just going to throw that out there. It's uh, You can rent it. It's cheap. It's cheap. For mother-in-laws, uh, we can fit three or four of them in there. Uh, but if your relationship with someone isn't that great, or if uh, maybe your health isn't as great as you'd like to be in your three or 400 pounds overweight, hello, start walking, start walking. Um, uh, bringing success to the areas of your life where uh, where things may not be as, as wunderbar, I'm multilingual, uh, as they as you you would like them to be. So uh, so, uh, how do we do that? How do we do that? And the formula for that is exactly the same as as building success in anything. It's it's uh, it's all identical, uh, but it's not something that I'm going to give you the ten steps to success. I, you know, it's not that because every variation you can say excitement or passion. It's it's the same word, right? You know, just a different different word for the. It's not the same word. Why did I say that? It's the it's the same meaning. For, for in two different words, that's the 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 weird thing about English language is when I say where are you saying where is it or uh, the wares that you wear or uh, you're wearing out or yeah we're just like throwing out there's like one word and fifty different meanings okay so but the the secret to success isn't something that you do it's something that you decide to do. And then you follow through with that decision. So, so the first part of that is that you know, and and you can read this up in in everybody from Napoleon Hill to every great writer in the world, and you know, and and all those guys are primarily focused on one thing because our, our society is really based on you know. Kathy and I had an interesting conversation yesterday about the tie, you know, the tie, you tie a tie. Now, the tie is a piece of fabric. It's just a piece of fabric. It doesn't serve any purpose. You know, it doesn't keep you warm. It doesn't uh, hold your arms together. It doesn't have any physical purpose. It's just something that you that corporate people tie on themselves, and it has a it has a meaning. It doesn't have a. It says, uh, "I am uh, uh, serious about my business. I'm corporate." And and uh, the thing about a tie is that people judge. We're in, we're in a very judgmental society, and. They judge you based on what you wear. So uh, you guys could judge me and say, well, Fireball's a car guy because he's got a car t-shirt on, right? Uh, if I was wearing a tie and a suit, then somehow I would, I, you, you wouldn't call me a car guy, right? So immediately that's a judgment. It's not a judgment that's it's negative. It's just that you're, you're judging the picture and determining what what the outcome is based on that that interpretation, that that the way that you're viewing that. Now, a tie doesn't have any purpose. It just sits there. It hangs from your neck. Uh, but if you tie it wrong, then people judge you and say you're you're a kook. 
if you uh, if you wear the wrong color or pattern and it's obnoxious, then they say you're nuts. Unless, of course, you have a, a buttload of money, then you're eccentric, right? <laughs> so it's okay. You're you're an idiot if you wear the tie wrong and, and the wrong color, unless you're, you know, like the level of Elon or Jeff Bezos or Jeff who, as Elon said, uh, or, you know, any successful person and you, you can wear a purple tie and a purple suit, purple sequined suit. <laughs> That'd be nice. And then you're okay. You're okay. You're just you're just kind of eccentric. Yeah, yeah. But I still like him. Yeah. So, uh, but that's that's the judgment with it. You know, it's just a piece of fabric. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't serve any purpose. It's just there. It's just hanging from your neck. And and when did it come into into play? You can go onto Google and you can type in the history of the tie, and you might get some interesting stuff. Now, the thing about that is that we're because we're constantly being judged. It's like uh, playing pole position, or you're you're in a boxing match and you're trying to parry away this way, this way, uh, from from incoming insults and, and judgments and all that kind of stuff. And we have to figure out a way to navigate through life without letting those those judgments and insults harm us in some way. And certainly those insults and judgments are simply suggestions. And the suggestion is you should wear a different tie, right? And the suggestion can be uh, can seep in. And if it does, it becomes an auto-suggestion and you give it to yourself and then it can become a hiccup for your life, you know, some kind of problem for your life. Or you can just parry it away. It's like, ah, who cares? That guy's a moron. Anyway, doesn't really matter. <laughs> he wears his tie all backwards, <laughs> right? So we, we look at it that way. We look at it. It's just kind of strange. So the first thing we need is clarity, clarity of purpose. What is it that we want to do? You know, you can't become successful in something that you don't know what it is. Right, so you gotta you gotta pick pick what you want to be. Now, Tony, uh, uh, my friend Tony Dow, uh, uh, you know, tells this story, and we we vlog this and stuff. That that he he got onto uh, his first show because he went he went with another buddy of his who was actually trying out for the show, and Tony just sat over in a corner and just watched. And then the producers came over and and said, "Hey, you want to try out for this?" And Tony's like, well, "Okay, whatever." And then he ends up getting the part and his buddy doesn't. And then his buddy doesn't want to be his buddy anymore. So they're no longer buddies. <laughs> Free buddies. <laughs> I threw that in there. <laughs> so uh, Tony ends up on Leave it to Beaver, right? Right there. That says Dow Special, number five. Look, look at the hairdo. Yep. That's the Tony hairdo. Now he get. Oh, yeah. This one's even better. This is an old original Dig magazine from, uh, wait, what year is this? Let me see. Let's see if it shows what may. It's always fun to find out what uh, year this is from. It doesn't say. Anyway, if you guys ever collected Dig magazine, look at Tony's on the cover of Dig. That was pretty funny. Look at those steely blue eyes. Kind of looks like me, doesn't it? No, not even close. No. He had the goods. He was a beefcake. I was just a cake. I don't know. Something. Chocolate cake. Anyway, clarity of purpose. We got to know where it is that we're going. You know, where, where it is that we're heading. Uh, and then once we decide... You know, we can contemplate stuff. We can say, I think I want to do this. Ah, maybe I want to do that. No, actually, you know what I do want to do is I want to do that. And, and until we decide and make a, a, a firm conviction about what it is that we want to achieve, we want to make pasta versus sushi versus, you know, with a veggie steak. You know, do they make veggie steaks? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, whatever it is that you want to make, whatever it is you want to do, Pete Hawk, welcome, Pete. Pete hung out with us at the Peterson, saw the Cybertruck. Yeah, we were that close, man, that close from grabbing the keys to the Cybertruck and taking off right through the window. I was going to bust that out. And Pete was right there, right there with me, weren't you, Pete? Yeah, we were going to drive that car. Uh, we will. We will eventually at some point. So clarity of purpose in understanding where it is that you want to go or what it is that you want to achieve. Uh, as, as an example, Pete and uh, and Ken are doing the Fountain Valley Car Show. If you just kind of sit on your hands and say, oh, it would be really nice to do a car show. You know, it's not going to get done. So, but you got to decide. You got to decide. You have clarity of purpose. Uh, number one, you got to you got to know, you know, where are you going? Where are you going? So, um, but but clarity of purpose uh, isn't going to help you if you don't stay focused. Now, life is filled with distractions, amazing distractions. And uh, one of the distractions, I'm looking around for my phone, and it's right there. I'm looking at it. Your phone is a heavy, heavy distraction. Notifications, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Insta, Instabook, Face, Face Twit, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you watch. You know, a lot of that is very uh, distractatory. Just made that word up. Hmm. 
I think it works. And you know what, am I, what I mean is that it's very hard to get shit done when you're being distracted all the time. Now, I happen to have a two-year-old in the next door, and I got a dog scraping on the door right now. Go away. In order to stay focused and hang out with you guys to be able to do, uh, you know, this art talk. And if I if I don't stay focused, I you know I'm not going to be able to get that that stuff done. So uh, I'm not talking about focus in the broader sense. I'm talking about mental focus in that you can put the blinders on and get shit done, and physical focus so that you can physically achieve the things that you want to achieve. Okay, the Instagram is going off notifications. So um, a focus is extremely important, is, is to, to hold your focus, right? And the example has always been that when you take a uh, magnifying glass and you move it around, it doesn't concentrate any energy on the leaf that you want to burn or whatever it is, insects. You know, I did that as a kid too. I feel bad about that. I didn't want to hurt any little insects, but they, insects, insects, uh, but you know, whatever it is that you burn. But with the moment that you hold the magnifying glass in one place, then the concentrated sun pierces down, and that's where the energy flows. Ah, bing! Energy, right? Uh, and um, where water goes, energy flows. I don't know. I saw that on the side of the road on the, on the way up to San Francisco one time. Something like that. I don't even think that has anything to do with what I'm talking about. Stop feeding me crap! Okay? So we're trying to stay focused. We're trying to stay focused here. Clarity of purpose. Uh, but what's going to maintain for the longevity, for the long haul, of this thing that we're going to achieve. Now, if you want to make dinner, it, you don't have to have a long haul, but if you want to become a professional chef, some, like, like somebody I know, Chef Lawrence, you want to become a professional chef and be really good at it and be successful at it and, and then you know travel around the world and do all the fun stuff that you want to do, uh, then in order to do that, you got to be excited about it. You got to be excited. You got to have passion about it. You know, you got to be excited about the thing that you want. If you're not excited about it, it's got no longevity. You're not going to give a shit in a week, two weeks. You know, it might last a month, and then you're over it, right? That's no fun. So you got to pick something that you're really excited about, something that you can say, I, not, not I like doing this, saying, I am this, I am this. And uh, it's very easy to, for me to say, I'm a car guy. I'm never going to lose passion on cars because I am a car guy, and I've fed myself this auto suggestion my whole life since I uh, first got my first Hot Wheel, which I think is over here on this one. Red lines over there. I'm not going to show those because those are my private collection. Yes. Um, I might show you that. I don't know. I'm just making shit up as we go along, right? Uh, so you got to have excitement for this thing because we're talking about this is a marathon, people. It's not a sprint. You know, we're not trying to get somewhere like really fast. We're trying to take our time because when you take your time, you come up with some delicious coffee, don't you, Deborah from Sarkeesian? If you guys really want the best chocolate coffee. You know, uh, check out Sarkeesian Coffee in um, in the store. Lots of different places. Uh, they're up in Big Bear, aren't you, Deborah? And they're making chocolate macadamia coffee that's killer. It's free plug, free plug. I do things like that from time to time because I'm into coffee. And I, I've been buying it at the store. I, 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 I'm sorry, Deborah, I haven't ordered it from you uh, in a while, but I've been buying it at the store. It's just, you know, I go up there and, and that's what I do. Uh, okay, so uh, we're talking about... Um, you know, uh, excitement, clarity of purpose, uh, being persistent, obviously, focus, the, these are all important. But also, you know, how do we stay away from overwhelm, you know, when things aren't going the way that we want them to go? Uh, you're making a cup of coffee, and it's just sucking. Like, Kathy made rice and beans yesterday, and it came out like mush. It was, like, disgusting. It was, You know, what did she do wrong? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. She's like a master when it comes to rice and beans and, and Mexican food and all the great things that she makes. Uh, it just happened to be uh, not not work out. So, you know, what are you going to do? Um, the important thing to understand is success doesn't come from big, wide-sweeping turns. Success comes from small steps. Small steps. Small steps that you can do today. Like, um, um, mm, I just remembered. Uh, Deborah, I don't know if you are at whatever consider this, but you should probably make chocolate-covered coffee beans because that's what I survived on in in college, I eat those like, I pop those pills, big time. Yeah, delicious. But Sarkeesian chocolate coffee beans, bam, I'm all over that. I'd be buying a lot more of that than the coffee itself. I'm just saying, just throwing that out there. Milk chocolate, by the way, milk chocolate. And dark chocolate's good too. 
but you can do all different raspberry chocolate. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. Anyway, small steps every day. Small steps every day. Um, more distractions. Uh, to, to achieve the, the things that you want to achieve, it's actually pretty simple. And as an example, you know, in doing these coloring books, we have the Tony Dell book, we have the Station Wagons, we have every single one of my books. You know, I focus to getting one sketch done a day. That's all. One sketch a day. No big deal. And as, as the books are 20 pages, I get them done in 20 days, and I have 10 days left over for marketing, for uh, promotion, for, uh, um, uh, you know, building, uh, the, building the book, um, cover, you know, all that kind of stuff. And it's a really solid, easy pace for being able to, to get stuff down. And now, uh, it also helps that if I have a custom book that I'm doing, which I do frequently, uh, that I have time, I can do two sketches a day, and you can create a custom book, which is a book that... You know, most people are not going to buy. It's like that as we, if we did a book for SEMA or something and they wanted to sell it at SEMA, it's not available on Amazon. So we would do a custom book and, 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 uh, uh, create, you know, make sure that my, uh, my camera doesn't fall over. Hold on one second. I'm on a tilted table, so it happens from time to time. Hi, Greg. Greg, uh, Greg walks in the house and knocks my phone over. No, I'm just kidding. Good morning, Greg. Good to see you, buddy. Um, cannot wait to see you at Wheels and Waves and anywhere else. Uh, so, you know, we're talking about, you know, the secret to creative success in anything. Uh, and uh, this is live. And as it's live, uh, sometimes the phone falls over. Um, I just got a text that uh, the the uh, Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk, which I'm driving right now, is going to be swapped with the Cherokee, the Grand Cherokee, uh, in the next hour. Yeah, so we'll have that for the vlog. That'll be kind of fun. I think there's everything okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, so uh, small steps every day. Small steps every day to achieve your goals. Uh, pretty simple. You got to know what your goal is. Uh, small steps, just work towards it. Um, and if you uh, uh, if you want to be doing it successfully, you get to a, a point where you're successful, you got to be you got to be into it. You got to be excited about it. If you're not excited about it, then then set it aside, do something else. Pick something you're passionate about. It's generally pretty easy. Uh, the question I ask when I do seminars and, and talk to people, um, I ask them what they do on their weekends. You know, because on the they, during the week they work and they do things that sometimes with a regular job. Uh, you guys remember what a regular job is? Yeah, you still some of you still remember what that's. You know, back in the day when you know people had regular jobs, um, they still do. I'm just making a joke. It's a it's a funny right, Brian Jeffries. Uh, you know when uh, 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 now if um, uh, if you got all this extra time. Then, then you want to be able to pick something that you're passionate about on the weekends. You know, what do you do on the weekends? Turn that weekend passion, that excitement. If it's, if it's, I just like going to the beach. You can turn that into a beach coloring book, which is what we have. You know, Kathy does the beach books and I do the car books. Uh, whatever it is that you're into. And uh, you may be wondering why my chair squeaks all the time. Yeah, because um, that's, that's my chair. That's just what's going to happen. It's a live show. Deal with it. Okay, uh, the last thing, the last thing that's very, very important, it probably trumps all the rest. It's important to do all the things that we talked about. But the last thing is to find out where you can give. What, what, how can you help somebody else? It's important to have a product or a service that helps people. And that's, that's true. But, you know, with the money that you make, you know, from what it is that you do, it's important to reinvest not only in yourself and your career and your business and things like that, but to find ways in which you can give and uh, help people simply for the joy of being able to do that. And your return on that investment will be uh, far greater than you can imagine. Trust me. That's kind of how it works. And it's very exciting. It feels feels great. It feels great to build a business. It feels great to work on your business and to be passionate about the things that you're doing. But it feels a uh, 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 hundred times uh, more powerful to be able to give something to someone. Stop. Stop it. Dogs scraping on the door. I should have opened it up. Should have done it when I started. You know, Sammy likes being here on Art Talk because... She wants to make sure that I uh, that I say the right thing. And if she doesn't like it, she scratches on my leg or bites my leg, something like that. I'm coming. We're almost done. Okay, so give where you can. Do what you can. And um, uh, today's the day. Today's the day. It's Monday. You get an opportunity to do that. Uh, get out there. Be your best. Pick your passion. Uh, if you've already picked it, work on your passion. Get some shit done today. Get a lot of shit done today. Be excited about it. Be excited about your life. you got to be grateful. 
yeah, there's a lot of bad things going on in the world, but what else is new? There's always bad things going on in the world. What's the big news? So what? There's a virus. So what? Keep going. Keep going. Get some shit done today. Okay? Be sure to subscribe to us on Facebook. If you haven't, I got two main Facebook pages. One is the personal page, and that's always limited. It's got it's capped at 5,000, so it's hard to get in there. But the same stuff comes in the other page, which is No Limit, uh, Fireball Tim on Facebook. Uh, pick up a Camaro book or, or one of the Connery books. Give it to a, a, a somebody who likes to color. And be sure to join us on the upcoming shows, Wheels and Waves, July 19th, and Muscles and Mojo, August 2nd. Going to be fun. All right, people, have a spectacular day. I love you all.